Music to me means everything, man. Nothing is solid, everything is vibratory frequencies, everything. And music is just part of that, you know. I love the four elements, you know, so you had graffiti, break dancing, DJing and rapping and I tried my hand at all, for all of them, you know. When I heard UK hip hop, I was like, shit, there's guys around here rapping from my area with slang that we say that I can relate to and that inspired me to start writing lyrics. And then when people that I hung around with started getting all in trouble for graph, I was like, I just translated my energy into writing music, you know? And I felt it's the same, it gave me the same creative passion, like writing, recording a tune, performing a tune. Back when I started, you know, like, um, yeah, like I got my mum to lend me like 500 quid so I could press up my first CD, so I could go out and, and sell them so people could hear about me. This was almost like, this was like MySpace days, you know, almost pre-social media, YouTube wasn't very big. It would be, it was much more like organic and much more real and much more like interaction with humans all the time. You know, I'd be going to every single open mic I could, all the shows, I'd be selling my CDs, hustling them, like trying to get everywhere that I could. Um, Whereas now, you know, a lot of people just put things up online and that's how they could create their following. But it was much more like a grassroots way of creating a following. It was almost like word of mouth, word on the street, like, oh, you heard this guy, you got it, passing the CDs around. High Focus Records is a record label that I established in 2010. Um, as a means to release my own music first and then I started releasing other like talented friends music and it's just grown and grown and grown and now it's a really big platform for um, yeah independent hip-hop music. We probably got around 20 artists or or more on the on the roster. We signed Rag and Bone Man, the now worldwide famous singer, put out a couple of EPs of him singing on some hip hop beats, uh, Ocean Wisdom, we dropped his album, they ended up getting the top top 40 charts, had like Dizzy Rascal, Method Man on there, um, I'm in a group called The Four Owls. It's a special label, go check it out, High Focus TV. We don't have to make music that caters to certain audiences, none of our artists make are making music to try and cater to audiences, they're making the music that they love but because they're good at what they do, they've managed to create an organic fan base that appreciate them. So that's how we keep it real. You can fall out of love with the craft and um, or just like, yes, yeah, times change. You might have a writer's block or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I guess my kind of advice would be to, to not worry about that, to take time off, taking time off is, is all right. Like before I wrote my new album, Mantra Number no. 9, I took a whole year off writing lyrics nearly. But I moved country so I, and I also had become a dad at the same time. So I was in a new environment and I was a dad for the first time. So that took a lot of my focus. But at the same time, you don't want to hear the artist saying the, the same stuff the, the whole time. So for a whole year, I was just like a sponge just like absorbing my surroundings, absorb, uh, absorbing my experiences. And then I did a feature for a friend, Verb T, and um, I really enjoyed it. And then Ill Informed sent me the beat for Eden that I performed for you guys. And um, I wrote that track and I was like, geez, I'm back. So yeah, my new album, Mantra Number no. 9, is out now. And um, yeah, it was a real special album for me. Uh, when I started making it, I wanted to make a classic. Like I've experimented with different sort of beats and styles on previous albums, 
but with this one, I really wanted to make a classic, like timeless sort of hip hop. Um, so I just like hollered all, all of the producers that I like to work with and certain vocalists on the label. It's really like a representation of where I am as a person now and my evolution from where I've come to, you know, where I've come from. Like all of my music is like a journey and I now feel like I'm at this sort of little pinnacle point that I wanted. Like. Today we live in a place where it's very much like single orientated, like drop drop. People's attention spans seem to be smaller than what they were in the past where people would buy an album and they'd sit and digest it and rinse it. Now it's a bit more disposable. If you want to be known as a great artist, you need to create great bodies of work. With this album, I came with the approach of I wanted to create a classic body of work that would stand the test of time for people who love albums. But then, because it was 18 tracks, I chose six singles off it and I drip fed them to people one single a month because I'm talking a lot. There's a lot of depth in my music. If I give you too much at once, they need like, take one and like get the gems you know from each one and then like when i drop the album there's still 12 brand new songs that people haven't heard uh which is almost like a full-length album um you know for people to get their teeth into only way to stay afloat because the game's wavy i'm coded like dna lately i say no to the my advice to any independent artist trying to kick off their career is do it because you love it do it because you're passionate about it Make sure you've got self-belief. Make sure you set goals of where you want to be and where, what you want to achieve. Like they can be goals for the week, for the month, for the year, for five years ahead. Like you have to set them long goals in order to be able to achieve them. And if you get knocked back or things aren't going right at first, don't worry about that. Just keep going, you know, because persistence is key. You know, you have to be, de you have to be dedicated to your craft.